Well, the difference in between blues and jazz, <laughs> you know, no one person, I, I don't think, have that answer, has got that answer, because everybody sees it in a different light. Everyone explains it a different way. Uh, I've heard that blues, that jazz is just dressed up blues. A guy playing blues, all the only difference is he has on a tuxedo and a bow tie and a white shirt and, and you know, whatever, have you in the tails, and uh, he's playing faster or clearer notes. Jazz runs. A bunch of pull-offs and, and other stuff and hammer on, you know, just the cool stuff that somebody has put into a into a uh, certain type of context to where it's it's jazzy. Blues. Simple, plain. You're basically playing what you feel. If you want to Whatever you, anything probably pretty much goes. You're playing what you feel, it's a feeling. That's why most of the guys got frowns on their faces and twitching because he's playing solely from emotions. Like BB. Well, like BB King, for an example. Yeah, with all the looks yeah, and, and all the, you know, the facial expressions. Yeah, the facial expressions is what let you know he's playing. He playing what he feels from coming from the heart. Mm -hmm. So that's how the blues are basically, I believe it, it emerged through so just feelings. And uh, jazz is pretty much, it's, they wrote it. They, they, somehow someone got, got, got a little knowledge and some education and instead of doing, he go. Cause it sounds much cooler uh, to someone that's that's educated, you know, you got some class. Because for so long, blues music was looked down as old, tired, people in poverty and pain and, and hurting and moaning. And, and that's just how most of your blues players were sounding, like they were hurting. They sang about what was going on back in the day, you know, in the Delta, working in the cotton fields and for the own the plantation and all these different things. So that's what they were, were, were exposed to. So that's what they played. So they took all of that and they combined it. Then they came north and you had guys like Muddy Waters and Jimmy Reed and all of these folks. They migrated north to places like Chicago, Detroit, all these other places away from the south. And they came up with a different type of style with it. Uh, all of a sudden, they got producers and writers and arrangers, and and they got they they got a little class with the Willie Dixons. They put a little class to it too, a touch, and their stuff became clean. And you know, it wasn't it, it was no longer no no longer just excuse me, it was no longer just one guitar with a folk song, guitar with a hole in the middle and a slide. And it, it was it was clean too. It, it became they put it in the context. They had some some style about it. And that's where the BB Kings emerged from, and some different types of stuff that was uh, uh, accepted mm -hmm. as, as clean playing, mm -hmm. you know. But so, but the jazz and the blues is is related. It's so close. Now the rock and roll came from. My understanding is, it's my opinion. This is what I. This is how I interpret it. This is what I get get, get out of because this is what I've heard over the years. The blues had a baby and they named it rock and roll. So I guess if it wasn't for the Willie Dixons, Muddy Waters and Holland Wolves, then it wouldn't probably be a Mick Jagger and the Rolling Stones or the Beatles and all, because they had to learn it from somewhere. So they got the American musicians and they learned from them and they put their own style with it or, or the, the British rock guys, they, they took a, 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 some type of distortion devices and wah wah pedal, all this different effects and they put it with the blues and they came up with their own style. So that's how they came up with the power chords. Or, or songs that came from guys like John Lee Hooker, uh, Boogie Children. It 
ZZ Top just took it and put, uh, put a um, distortion pedal with it and rocked it out. How, how, how? So that uh, automatically became his rock song. It's really kicking now. But of course, J.D. Hooker, he didn't know about no wah wah pedals and, and a whole lot of distortion amplifiers and all that. He didn't want to because his style was what it was lazy, laid back, and, and just relaxed and mellow. So that's who he was. <laughs> 